Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll learn about how to interact with a Docker process that's running in our machine. So here we have the schema registry, broker and zookeeper. So in this lecture, what we are going to do is we are going to learn how to interact with a broker and then how do we publish that is produce new messages and consume new messages using the Docker process that's running in our machine. For this purpose, I'm going to open a new window. Okay, now we need the commands to produce and consume the messages. So now I'm going to go back to the GitHub repository. So in the GitHub repository, there is a section that talks about how to interact with the Kafka. So which is interacting with Kafka and you need to run these following commands one by one to produce and consume the messages. But I'll explain through the commands one by one. So the very first step that we are doing here is that we are executing the docker exec and then passing the iPhone IT flag broker bash. What this is going to allow you to do is that it's going to allow you to log in into the running broker container. So once you log in into the broker container, you have the ability to use the Kafka console producer command and then you pass the broker list and then you pass in the topic. So what this is going to do is that this is going to allow you to produce messages. If the topic is not there, it's going to automatically create the topic also for you. I hope the explanation is clear. Now let's go ahead and start publishing the messages. So let's copy this command. Let's go to the terminal. So I'm working on the new window that I have here. So I'm going to run this command. So as soon as you run that command, you will be able to log in into the actual container that's running. In this case, that's a broker. A container is nothing but the Java process of the broker instance, right? So now we have logged in. The next step is we are going to execute the console producer command. So this is the console producer command. Copy this one and then put it over here and then press enter. So this should give you a arrow here. This is a clear signal that we will be able to produce new messages. You can uh, ignore this message. So anytime you make the connection for the very first time, you may get this message. And as you can see, this is not an error. This is of logging level warning. So basically you can ignore this. Now the next step is what we are going to do. And then I'm going to start producing messages. So in this case, I'm going to publish a, B, C, D, F, G, H, I. So I have published these three messages and I'm not seeing any error messages. This is a clear signal that I'm able to communicate to the broker that's running and I'm able to produce messages to the Kafka topic, which is test topic. Now the next question is how do we test this? How do we test and make sure that the message have been sent to the test topic here? So the only way to test it is by spinning up a consumer and making sure all the messages are read from this particular topic. So I'm going to open another window here. There you go. And in this window, we're going to follow the commands that's given in the GitHub and then spin up a consumer. So I'm going to go back to the Chrome and in here we are going to run the same command because ultimately the console consumer is going to be run inside the broker container. So let's run this command. So this is going to allow me to log in into the broker container. So I've logged in into the broker container. Now the next step is I'm going to be running the consumer command. So this is a consumer command. What we are doing here is that pass in Kafka console consumer and then pass in the bootstrap server and then you provide the topic as test topic. So this is the topic where we would like to read the data from. Okay. And then you can also provide from beginning, but in this case, I'm just going to press enter. Currently, I'm not seeing any kind of messages right now because what this setup is going to do, this is going to only consume the new messages. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to publish schema registry. There you go. Once I press enter, you can see, right, we get the message over here. So this is a clear signal. Our producer is able to produce the messages and our consumer is able to consume the message. So as a whole, as part of this lecture, we learned how to interact with Kafka broker using CLI, which is nothing but the command line interface. But until now, we have not looked into creating a schema and then publishing messages. So that's going to match that schema, right? Because we have already created a grading schema. The next step is to publish messages with the schema. We'll be covering that in the next lecture. I hope you all were able to successfully run a producer and a consumer that's connected to the Docker process that's running in our local machine. With this, we came to the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching.